It's going to be a scream. Courtney's a total show off. She thinks she's so brave and she's always making Eddie and his friends look like wimps. But now Eddie's decided he's had enough. He's going to scare Courtney once and for all. And he's come up with a perfect plan. He's going to lure Courtney down to Muddy Creek. Because Eddie kn knows Courtney believes in that silly rumor about the monsters. Mud monsters that live in the creek. Too bad Eddie doesn't believe the rumor. Because it just might be true. Hello folks, welcome back to our channel reviews. And today I'm going to be reviewing one of my favorite Goosebumps books of all time. Entitled, You Can't Scare Me. I freaking love the front cover, so eerie and creepy, and the orange there fits so perfectly well. And you have those mud monsters sort of emerging from uh, from the ground and uh, uh, walking uh, forward, basically staggering forward and uh, lifting themselves up. Man, that's such a great way of uh, being introduced to the book. I so love it. And also you have some darkness uh, in there. Uh, which is uh, to be found uh, in the trees, most mostly, and also the moss and parts of kind of door. And uh, one of them uh, is raising his hand and uh, raising his arm, and it sounds like he's gonna catch us or something. Like he wants to grab onto someone, you know. And he's staggering forward. Man, that's so great! I love the front cover so much. It's one of the creepiest from all Goosebumps, if you ask me. And the tagline reads, they're coming for you, ellipsis, that's so great. Now, the book itself was so great, I so freaking loved it. I know that a lot of people dislike this book, but man, I had such a fun time reading it. And I wish uh, the um, the movie, or uh, the book review given by Michael Goosebumps, and I couldn't agree more with him. That book was so great. I think I enjoyed it as much as he did, man. It was such a perfect read, especially uh, for the summer, I would say. I kind of read it during the summer, even though it doesn't really take place in the summer. The story that is, I think it's some kind of a spring sort of tale. But I read it last year in July, and I had so much fun reading it. So let's get into the story itself. Now, the story starts with a girl. Her name is Courtney, and basically... She's kind of a show-off, you know, a little bit stuck-up and um, big-headed uh, girl who always loves to show the whole class, the whole school, that she's brave, that she's not afraid of anything, basically. She's not afraid of bees. She gets them to simply um, take a little nap on uh on the palm of her hand, basically, or just, uh, yeah, basically resting there. And uh, lying uh, there, whatever. And uh, also, she's not afraid of, uh, like, uh, she's not afraid of many things, actually. I don't want to give too much away because if I start, you know, telling you about what she's not afraid of, uh, it may ruin the book. So I'm not going to do this. But basically, our three uh, main characters, their names are uh, Eddie, Hat, uh, Molly and Charlene are kind of, um, uh, irritated by that, and they can't stand it anymore. They're like, uh, okay, let's show, let's show the whole school that, um, Courtney is just a show-off, and, uh, there has to be something that scares her in life, right? I mean, uh, she's not, uh, she, she has to have some kind of a phobia or something she's afraid of, right? She's not uh, fearless. There's no way, right? She's not made without fear. So basically, our three friends are going to try to basically embarrass her in front of the whole class just uh, as a way to get some payback, right? And that's something that kids love to do, you know, kind of playing mean tricks uh, among themselves, especially at uh, middle school. So basically, they're going to go for all these different uh, ideas, you know. Like, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but basically there's an incident uh, involving uh, a spider. Then uh, some kind of a rubber snake. And uh, even a dog at some point. Now, I'm not going to tell you what exactly scared her, or if it didn't. I mean, I'll let you find out for yourselves. But basically, they're going to try really hard right, to scare her, 
And I think that was such a great thing about the book, you know, to have that kind of very sort of wayward attitude, sort of really uh, that perseverance, you know, in uh, scaring somebody to death, really like uh, it's really the driving force of the book, you know, you have such a uh, such passion, you know, where all the characters team up in order to scare one of one of their classmates. I think that was such a great thing to have that in a Goosebumps book. And uh, the book is kind of dark, I would say, at some point. There's something that involves, uh, for example, a dog. And uh, I got to tell you, I have that phobia of dogs. And uh, they kind of scare me, especially big dogs, like the one used in the book. I wouldn't have done that. I think it was way too mean. But uh, I'll let you find out for yourselves what happens because it was kind of, uh, it was pretty good, actually. This book has a lot of suspense because you don't know what's going to scare Courtney and what will possibly just backfire on those kids, you know, like uh, not scare her at all, but just uh, embarrass uh, the kids instead, right? Uh, Courtney, uh, what am I saying? Uh, Eddie, Head, and uh, Molly and Charlene. So, yeah, that was such a great thing. And uh, now, uh, you may wonder, but what about the Mud Monsters? Now, the Mud Monsters are not really involved in the book, I gotta say. And uh, even though the front cover is pretty awesome, it's it doesn't actually reflect the whole book, I would say. It's kind of, it's there, don't worry about it. But it's not that, and um, it's not given as much importance as uh, the front cover suggests, right? So, basically... Um, Eddie's brother, uh, older brother, I kind of forgot his name, perhaps I can find it somewhere, um, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, uh, oh yeah, uh, it's, uh, Kevin, basically his name is Kevin, he's shooting some kind of, um, uh, I believe a documentary about the Mud Monsters, and, um, uh, basically he'll live in some kind of, uh, creek, uh, surrounded by woods, kind of like in the forest, and, uh, basically, he's shooting some kind of, uh, like I said, a documentary with his friends, and, uh, he's in high school, and basically, Eddie's gonna ask him for help, you know, because, um, Courtney believes in those mud monsters, which is basically very interesting, uh, it's, uh, some kind of a, a local, legend of folklore, urban legend, which is, uh, basically, in a lot of Goosebumps books, you have a specific city, which has that story about it, and I think it was so good, and, uh, that one was about the mud monsters who live, who sh may or may not live in the creek, basically, in Mud Creek, so basically, Kevin is gonna have to, you know, um, be involved in, uh, the book in, uh, in, uh, some way, basically, take part in, uh, scaring Courtney, basically, because, uh, uh, his brother, Eddie, is gonna ask him for help, and, uh, would be like, um, I'll clean up your room, I'll do your homework, or something like this, and basically, he's gonna be like, okay, let's, let's do it. Now, the end of the book, I think, was so perfectly awesome. I so loved it. I loved it to death, man. It was so creepy and terrifying. And uh, that was such a great thing. Uh, that was such a great way to end the book. Basically, this is when it gets really, uh, I would say, unnerving. Very upsetting and uh, unsettling and scary, man. Terrifying. The last end of the book was definitely awesome. And uh, believe me, like... Uh, it's worth the way because it was such a, such a freaking awesome scene, so, so terrifying, man, it really scared me, I think that this book is so underrated, I don't understand why, but more people need to, to read, to read it, right, to read about this book because it was an awesome book, perhaps uh, the idea of revenge may seem a little bit annoying to some, but I think that was such a pleasant read in, in a way because it was so much fun. I think this book is pretty fun to read and pretty lighthearted until you get to the end of the book where it actually gets pretty terrifying. So that's pretty much it for the book. I think I said it all. I freaking loved it. It was so great to have that idea of, um, like I said, revenge and uh, really trying to try to make so, to do something that would uh make a difference basically being so like um 
so obsessed with the idea of uh, revenge, you know, not being, uh, not giving in, not uh, giving up, but just uh, carrying on, you know, like, uh, it's some kind of, it, it appears as if it's some kind of a mission even, like, uh, yeah, some kind of, um, of uh, a higher kind of calling, you know, like, uh, like something which is very stressed in the book, like, uh, we gotta scare this girl, like, uh, we have to, you know, like, uh, some kind of, a, like I said, a mission, but really, like, uh, kids' version, which is so good, because kids are definitely the kind of, uh, people who would eventually, you know, get tired of something or just give it up, but in this book, the, these kids are really, like, uh, they really, they, they don't want to, uh, they don't want to stop, you know, they, they, they're fixed, I would like to say, they're fixed on their, on their goal, you know, they, they don't want to give it up or anything, they just want to go ahead and do it, no matter what it takes, so I think that was such a great book, so if I were to give it a rating, I think I'd give it a 9.5 out of 10, it was such a pleasant read, an awesome read, the ending was perhaps a, just a tiny bit rushed, you know, uh, because, uh, the mud monsters were awesome, and, uh, I hope, I, yeah, I wish they were kind of more involved to the story itself, but apart from that, that was an awesome book, right? Thank you so, okay, that's pretty much it, so thank you so much for watching, and what did you think about You Can't Scare Me? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Is it your favorite Goosebumps book? Is it your worst Goosebumps book? Please let me know in the comment section down below, I can't wait to hear what you have to say about it. I think it's such an underrated book, but uh, hopefully there are a lot of people out there who would uh, who would let me know about their opinions, and uh, perhaps uh, some of them even loved it. I hope so, but if you didn't, that's fine with me. You can even let me know, even if you think that this is a bad book. Just, uh, yeah, you're entitled to your opinions, and uh, I don't mind at all. So as long as we're being respectful and, uh, yeah, uh, respecting each other's taste in books, uh, yeah, feel free to let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next review. This is Jorge Rivas for you, signing off.